love delicious recipes, but even more than delicious, I love simple. And this recipe fits the bill. It's delicious, it's simple, and you're going to love making it. This is salmon batayaki, which really is just salmon that's cooked in butter, and yaki, which means fried or cooked in the frying pan in this case. It's very simple. My kids even love it, so this is a great way to get reluctant fish eaters to eat some fish. First of all, we start with some salmon filet. And here what I've done is I've cut it into one-inch slices. These are really beautiful little pieces of salmon. We take a little bit of salt, just sprinkle it lightly over the salmon, just give it a little extra flavor right before you put it in the pan. We salt both sides of the salmon. Now I'm just going to take our butter and put some in there. Oh wow, that's going to cook really nicely. And some oil. We put the oil in the pan with the butter to keep the butter from burning. You don't want that to cook too fast. So let's get our fish ready to go into the pan. You take it and you put it in the flour. You don't want a lot of flour on it because it's going to cause to have a really beautiful little coating on it, but not too much. Now we'll just add the fish to the pan. Sizzle! One at a time. Now you can see how the butter's all foaming up and starting to get a little bit brown there. That's what we want to do. We want to leave the salmon to cook here just until the edges get opaque and we start getting a brown crust on the bottom side of it and then we're going to flip it over. You know, I first had this dish at a tiny little restaurant in Tokyo. It only had a two burner stove and you sat at the counter and we could watch the chef cooking step by step. So with my eagle eye, I watched him very carefully and he made this beautiful fish dish and I thought, well, I could do that at home. I can hear it sizzling away, so I bet it's going to taste good. Just flip that right over. Now that our fish is almost cooked, I'm going to add our secret ingredient, my kikoman soy sauce. The taste of this soy sauce really amps up the flavor of the dish. It adds an incredible richness and depth of flavor that you're just going to love and makes it uniquely Japanese. So you can see that we're sizzling away here. This is the easiest part of the dish, so get ready. Wow, listen to that. That is the sound of a gorgeous sauce. Can you smell that? It's fantastic. It's nutty. It's rich. It's deep. It's dark. It's delicious. And it's so Japanese. It's going to be fantastic. So we'll let that sauce form a little bit. I like to let the soy sauce get a little bit darker and a little bit caramelized. But before it burns, we're going to take it out of the pan. Here's my serving plate. We like to have everything each in its own place. We have the vegetable here, our rice here, we might have a little bit of soup, and the salmon, the star of the show, gets its own plate. So let's take this out of the pan. I think it's ready now. Doesn't that look good? Nice and brown and caramelized and delicious. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce that we made and just spoon that right over the top. This is a little bit of the butter and oil and soy sauce just to add a little bit more flavor to it. And here we go. Simple, authentic, delicious, and you can do it at home. Let's cook Japanese food. Itadakimasu! Let's eat.